About five minutes later, Ian came over the radio and said, hey, it's really hot in here. And the manager came back and said, don't worry, it's supposed to be a little warm in there, but it's nothing that can hurt you. And then a couple of seconds later, Ian comes back over the radio and says, no, it's really hot in here. It is unbearably hot in here. And so one of the managers ran over and checked the temperature gauge, which unbelievably no one had done to that point. And the temperature at the center of the oven was reading over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. It was hot enough to boil water in the center of this oven. And unfortunately, there was nowhere for Ian or David to go. The belt could not go in reverse, and the fastest it could move is 17 minutes start to finish, so agonizingly slow. By the time they finally pulled off big pieces of the oven, Ian had already made it to the other side and been pulled out, and he was unfortunately deceased. He had been burned alive, and David had collapsed somewhere in the oven and had been crushed by the machinery that went over him. The bakery and their management team were all fine for their part in this tragedy.